Well, this is a, a bit of a, a, a problematic uh, a video comment in that uh, the beginning part there was a little bit of a a technical mis mishap in that the, uh, the tripod wasn't so steady. But this is a, a, a video comment on uh, my own uh, my own Insta vlog, particularly on uh, on the f uh, on uh, Freud, uh, Freud psychology versus uh, quantum psychology, and it's in a reply to a uh, neo soon to uh, retro. Uh, this is a short reply. It's not going to be a, a lengthy reply. Because there is more coming, but I'm going away. I'm out on research uh, for the next three weeks. I'm out on uh, an, on an expedition, so I'm not going to be around too much uh, to actually do uh, the the Insta vlog reply. But it is coming. I just want to let you know that it is coming. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the the Freudian issue, is that is that it's not a matter of whether it's fair or unfair. Uh, if you read all of the documents written by Freud and uh, his nephew Edward Bernays and, and a number of other uh, uh, psychologists who built their work off of Freud, uh, while they did do interpretations of dreams, ego, superego, ego, and so on and so forth, what they did is they boiled it down to um, fundamental, what called fundamental or um, primal behaviors. In other words, what are primitive man's behaviors still within the human being? And he was looking at um, man's uh, sort of behavior, his self-destructive behavior, and identified that in that self-destructive behavior was a primal, almost omnipresent omni uh, uh, sexual behavior uh, that sort of it motivated your dreams, it motivated a lot of the different things in the theories. The underlying motivation for why you did what you did was a sexual uh, sort of uh, bias, if you will, uh, that pushed these, these sort of uh, uh, the behaviors. Now, what I said, I said is about rele rele relegating this to men. Uh, again, I said uh, this particularly that that it, it, Freud Freud did develop this for both uh, for both men and women. Talk about man as the, as the species rather than the gender. Uh, but when you talk about men in terms of the friend zone, it's the way that men look at these things, particularly friend zone. That's the issue. It's not that, that the friend zone is bad. Uh, I'm a geek, and more often than not, uh, I've been friend zoned uh, by most girls that I know, uh, and. I don't have a problem with it. I actually enjoy having the friend zone more than I do anything else. Um, because if you don't have the friend zone, if you don't get to know the person, then you miss that opportunity of getting to know the person. But there's a... a, 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 a and this is about guys and the way guys speak together. And it's missed a lot by girls. Is girl Guys think differently than girls do about uh, how their relationships with people, particularly girls, are going to end up. And their view is is that they'd rather, particularly, this is particularly between the ages of 15 and 25, uh, they're on the hunt. Uh, they view girls as prey, as objects to be obtained. And this is not all guys. This is, in, in general, on average, this is the average guy. Uh, and this is what guys, in many cases, strive to be. This is what they're told they should be. And this is what's in, in football games. This is what's in the sports. In other words, it, and it's also what's presented in the media, that guys are to behave in this particular manner. Or that it's acceptable for guys to behave in this particular manner. Because this is their innate, this is their primal behavior. In other words, the excuse for this behavior is that this is the way you were born. This is natural behavior. And so... What are you going to do? Boys will be bored. This is the excuse for this. And so I'm not sort of promoting this. I'm, what I'm saying is that this type of behavior, this type of view, is not a, a psychologically good view. And I say, what happens is that Freud, was, it, it, he came out at a period and was sort of a, a point where, and this is where you can't talk about spirituality with Freud, because Freud was fundamentally an atheist, and the Freudian psychology was fundamentally uh, uh, atheistic. In other words, he didn't believe the man had, that man 
the species had a soul. So in other words, psychology for Freud and anything that goes within that Freud uh, line of thinking is basically contradicted because how do you have psychology, which is a uh, study of the soul, is Greek for psychologia, it's like the, the proper Greek term is psycho, or psycho, psychologia, right? So psycho is the soul, logi is, the, is study or word. So how do you have a study of the soul if there is no soul in Freudian psychology. And this is where Freudian psychology really does have a fundamental contradiction. And the other fundamental contradiction is, and this is where it comes to women, is that Freud and a lot of the early developers of psychology were all men. And so there is a built-in uh, natural gender bias. You know, it doesn't matter how much you, you think you know. You can never assume what somebody else is thinking. And there's no way that he put enough observation in to understand how a woman's thoughts and a woman's behavior is fundamentally different in, 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 different, in, in, in certain aspects than a man's thinking is. And so what happens is that women get lumped in with this, with this sort of male dynamic. So while the, Freud, the Freudian zone uh, it does apply to everybody else, it, it does apply to both genders, it's primarily an issue with guys than it is more for girls because girls are more relationship oriented. They're more their issue with uh, relationships in terms of how they view relationships is about the relationship. It's not about sex for most girls. And again, talking about averages, we're not talking about specifics because uh, there are maybe you know exceptions to the rule and people do have different behaviors, different thoughts, and you know. But on average, the 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 female view of uh, a relationship is the relationship. It's, it's about emotion. It's not about the physical pleasure. But for guys, it's about the physical pleasure. It's about these base, fundal, these fundamental primal needs and satisfying these, these primal urges. Uh, and that's where this comes from. And again, I will be bringing this out in more detail. There's a lot of history I can bring in here uh, that shows how this plays into a lot of what we see on TV, a lot about the advertisements, the advertising industry, PR, news, uh, world wars, uh, uh, how wars are conducted. All these things have, are sort of interconnected, inter interrelated. But again, it's too short of a time to do it in, these, in, in this thing here, so in this short period so it has to be extended outwards in many parts and that's why these are actually the insta vlogs are just the notes because they're the notes that are going to be eventually pulled together and form documentaries so anyway i'm glad you're, you're commenting on this i'm glad we're having this sort of discussion let me know what you think all right take it easy bye bye